Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and we're talking today about iOS 18. We're now counting the days until the release of iOS 18 to the public. It is of course an amazing update with a lot of new features and changes that will make this one of the of course most interesting updates to iOS in the last recent years. So first of all, let's talk about some more features that we have been able to discover on iOS 18.1 and 18 beta 7 things that we didn't mention before on the previous videos first of all we're talking about the notes app now on the notes app on ios 18 when you're on the gallery view what you can do when you're inside of a note you can just go like this so you can swipe down on a note to actually get back to your folder of notes now unfortunately this won't work if you have the list view it only works on the gallery view so it's actually pretty cool whenever you just want to display miss a note you can just swipe it down like this and you're back on your gallery now here we have another change on the photos app as you know with the photos app on ios 18 we have a total new app with a lot of new features and changes and one of them will be right here when you go to your utilities you will see now a section for your recently viewed photos so any photos or videos that you have recently viewed on your device will be right here it doesn't matter the time when they have been taken or added on your iPhone, the recently viewed photos will be shown right here. And of course the order will be based on the time that you have viewed them and not on the time when you did take those photos or add those photos to your iPhone. We also have a change here for the UI of the music. So whenever you're playing music and you're using Siri to actually play that music, you will see like a different UI right there at the top. So that has actually been updated with the last beta of iOS 18. And also we have a change here on the phone app. So now on the phone app, as you probably know, we have the all UI back, the UI that was on iOS 17 on the recent calls. You no longer can tap and go into the, that contact. You can just tap and just call them back. But another change here is that when you're searching on your recent calls, let's say you search the name of one of your contacts on the recent calls, then it will also show you here the matching contact. So you can either go to one of the calls from that contact or of course you can go to that contact card. 5G standalone now is enabled automatically for Verizon users. So if you have Verizon for your iPhone, you will notice that when you go to your settings and you go to your voice and data, now 5G standalone is actually enabled by default. And we have another security update right here. Begin security delay to install a profile. Whenever now you try to install a profile on your iPhone, it will ask you to start the security delay. This is what you will see. This is the pop-up. Of course, if you have stolen device protection enabled, then you will need actually to start the security delay before you can actually install a profile on your iPhone. And on the Maps app, when you add a location, now you will notice there that will be a new animation. So right there, if I just have the plus button, it says in library. So we have a pretty cool new animation right there. And now let's talk a bit about the battery and performance of iOS 18 and 18.1. So here I have this device on 18.1 beta 2. Let's just quickly take a look here at the last 10 days and how the battery did perform now you can notice right here we have a battery at 93 percent of battery health and here we have the results so what we have here the last day 10 hours 59 minutes and that's on 100 percent battery here we have about 85 maybe 90 percent battery eight hours eight minutes then we have here 110 percent battery seven hours 46 minutes and then right here we have about maybe 75%, 80% battery, 5 hours, 23 minutes. Now, when it comes to performance, performance and stability on iOS 18 and 18.1 betas is actually quite good. But here we have a Geekbench score, and we just want to compare here iOS 18.1 and iOS 18 beta. Now this right here is the same device, 
we have here iOS 18. This was a beta 4, I believe. And this right here is 18.1 beta 2. So you can see the single core score is actually slightly higher on 18.1. Like while the multi-core score, as you can see, it has dropped quite a bit here when comparing iOS 18.1 to iOS 18 beta. So we have 6913 here on 18.1 while 18 point oh beta 4 here had 7048 so we're always standing in the terms of new features new releases regarding iOS 18 and 18.1 well as we know iOS 18 is basically done now we're not waiting to see any new features or changes of course there will be minor features or just adjustments I would say in the next beta but that will be it of course there will be new features on iOS 18 but those features will be part of the new devices that will be released so don't expect any new features to come with 18.0 for the current devices now when taking a look here at the calendar most likely today or tomorrow we're getting the third beta of ios 18.1 while i would not expect apple to actually release a new beta for ios 18. so we're currently on beta 7 and in the past few years apple has always released eight betas of ios so we can expect iOS 18 again to be released to the public. We have talked about this on a previous video. It should be released to the public on September 16th. Now the iPhone event should be held on September 10th. Now that's the day when I think Apple will also release the RC version of iOS 18 before of course releasing it to the public a week later. So for now expect a new beta for iOS 18.1 as soon as today maybe even tomorrow that will be the third beta of course and don't expect any new betas for iOS 18. The eighth beta should be probably right here on the second or third the second I'd it's labor day so it won't happen so it will be the 3rd of september and then on the 10th we're getting the rc version and then of course on the 16th most likely we will have the final release of ios 18 to the public as far as ios 18.1 goes of course we'll have to wait for a few more weeks for that to be released that should be released sometime in october so that's pretty much it for this video guys ios 18 is finally just around the corner and again we're expecting it to be released on september 16th it should be really interesting and of course a very very nice update i think this is the best update to ios since ios 14 and it should be actually really really interesting so again that's it thank you guys for watching if you want to see more ios 18 videos and of course a ton of ios 18 videos once this update gets released to the public make sure to subscribe of course hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and i will see you on the next one